A safety alert tonight. With warmer weather this time of the year, emergency room doctors are warning against snake bites. They're saying that they believe it's important you talk to your children about staying away from snakes. There are three venomous types of snakes active this time of year. Rattlesnakes, copperheads, and water moccasins. Channel 4's Destiny McKeever shares this big warning. Oftentimes you'll see, you know, bite marks or fang marks right away. Even if you don't see a snake, um, you can see a, a, a sight that suggests that there was some kind of bite. Dr. Warren Davidson is an ER doctor at Wolfson Children's Hospital. He says this time of year he sees more children with snake bites. Dr. Davidson says parents need to act fast. And ER doctors say if your child is bitten by a snake, the first thing you want to do is take some soap, get water, and clean the wound. After rinsing the bite, monitor it for swelling. If you're bitten by a poisonous snake, usually relatively quickly, there will be swelling, there will be redness, there will be significant pain that will be progressive and worsening. At that point, take your child to the emergency room. In Florida, doctors say snake bites most often happen between April and October. They say the most common species of venomous snakes in Florida are diamondback rattler, timber rattler, pygmy rattler, coral snakes, copperheads, and cottonmouth. And even a bite from a non-venomous snake can cause an infection, so all snake bites should be taken seriously. With appropriate medical care, these, these things are oftentimes avoided. So, um, you know, no, nobody should be scared or, or worried to think that, you know, this is going to happen to every child that's bitten by a snake. That's not true. Um, but it is important if there are signs of a poison snake bite that that child be evaluated and, and cared for. Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, the local station. Doctors say if your child is bitten and you're not sure what to do after you wash the wound, just call Poison Control. We have that number posted for you on newsforjax.com.